people, finally we have reached the stage where we will look at the treatment of trachoma. Okay, so basically here they are divided as active trachoma, how you will treat, sequel of trachoma, how you will treat. Okay, then uh, profile axis of trachoma, that means uh, you should prevent the blindness, right? How to do profile axis, they are telling. Then uh, some definition of WHO, let us look at that for the trachoma blinding elimination. Then safe strategy. SAFE actually S is here, surgery A is antibiotic use, facial hygiene, environmental changes. Environmental changes is the primordial prevention, they should come first, primordial prevention. Then you have the primary prevention where facial hygiene, then secondary prevention once the disease occurs to prevent any further uh, uh, problem, antibiotic use and tertiary prevention, surgery to prevent disability, right. So, all the community medicine stuff coming into use here. So, shall we start off with the uh, treatment for trachoma guys, how is it going? So, basically remember trachoma is caused by a bacteria that is uh, Chlamydia trachomatis, right? So, here what will you give if it is a bacteria? Then you will give an antibacterial, right? You will give an antibiotic basically. So, basically treatment will be antibiotic, correct? So, let us say somebody has an active trachoma. So, what will you give? Antibiotics, correct? You will give antibiotics locally, systemically, right? Topical treatment is preferred. Why? Because it will be cheap, there is no risk of side effect, etc. So, what will the topical regimens be? What, you will, what will the topical therapy be? So, here you can say, topically you will give antibiotics like tetracycline 1%, right? Tetracycline 1%, erythromycin 1% or or it is or or erythromycin 1% so these will be eye ointments eye ointments okay are you able to see you need the specs to see so you will give tetracycline and erythromycin 1% or or it should be this or this okay where shall we put this or? Or we'll put here or erythromycin 1% eye ointment. Okay. So next we will give sulf acetamide 20% eye drops 3 times a day. Okay. Along with 1% tetracycline ointment at bedtime for 6 weeks. So it is tetracycline or erythromycin, right? Or you can give sulf acetamide eye drops 20%. 3 times a day along with 1% tetracycline eye ointment at bedtime for 6 weeks. Let us understand this one. Sulf acetamide, right, sulf acetamide, 20%, 3 times a day you should give along with 1% tetracycline only at bedtime they are saying, right, for 6 weeks. So, this entire treatment is for 6 weeks. This one also, these ointments are also 4 times a day, 6 weeks, okay, full 6 weeks only, 1.5 month of treatment for trachoma, okay, for active trachoma. Now, let us look at some systemic treatment, okay. So, let us look at some systemic treatment now. So, systemic therapy includes azithromycin, Tetracycline or erythromycin doxycycline, okay, these are the choices for systemic treatment. Actually, azithromycin, they are saying is the first drug of choice. So, remember azithromycin, they will give, they will give 20 mg per kg body weight up to a maximum of 1 gram stack. That means, as soon as possible, they will give this 1 gram max, right, or 20, 250 mg once daily for 4 days. It is presently what? The drug of choice, right. It is not used in children and pregnancy, okay, children below 6 years and pregnancy, they do not give azithromycin. Then what else you have? Tetracycline or erythromycin, right? That is 250 mg orally, 4 times a day for 3 to 4 weeks. Then you have doxycycline, guys. Doxycycline, 100 mg orally, twice daily for 3 to 4 weeks. Obviously, orally, you can guess because it is systemic treatment. Then they are talking about a combination of topical and systemic therapy. Combination of topical and systemic therapy. Basically, it is preferred when the ocular infection is severe like in TI intense, right? Trachoma intense, that is trachoma inflammation intense. Let us go back and check that. Yes, TI is trachomatis 
inflammation intense. So, in this severe case, they will give both topical and systemic therapy. Okay. Then, basically, here what will they give? Tetracycline or erythromycin ointment plus azithromycin oral, tetracycline or erythrocycline orally. So, what and all they are giving? This and this in combination. Okay. So, now let us move on to the treatment of trachoma sequel. So, how is it going guys? Now, we will look at the treatment for what? Sequelae. Sequelae. Okay. Treatment for trachoma sequelae or sequel we will just say. Okay. So, basically here what will be the issue? Do you know what the issues are here? So, here what and all you have seen concretions, right? You have seen concretions, you have seen trichiasis, then you have seen entropion, that is eyelid will fold inwards, right? Then xerosis, conjunctival xerosis. So, for these four they are mentioning the treatment guys, they are saying concretions should be removed, okay, concretions should be removed with hypodermic needle, trichiasis may be treated by epilation, okay, okay, electrolysis or cryolysis, epilation, electrolysis or cryolysis, you can remove the hair, the eyelashes like this, the eyelashes will be right. So, those eyelashes you can treat it with epilation, electrolysis or cryolysis. Then, how will you treat the cicatricial entropion? Should be corrected surgically, okay, that is the eyelid which is folding inward, that will be corrected surgically. Guys, uh, is it going into your head? We are talking about tra trachoma sequel in which concretions, what will you do? You will remove with a hypodermic needle. First of all, what are concretions? Cumulation of dead epithelial cells. Remember? Good. So, basically, concretions you will remove with hypodermic needle. Trichiasis will treat it with epilation, electrolysis and cryolysis. Then entropion should be corrected surgically, that is the eyelid folds inwards, right? That will be corrected surgically. Then conjunctival xerosis, how will they correct? Artificial tears, okay? With artificial tears, they will correct the xerosis. What is xerosis? Dryness, right? Dryer, okay? So that will be corrected with artificial tears. So we are done with the treatment for what? We are done with the treatment for sequel, okay? Now, let us move on to profile axis of trachoma infection and blindness. So, how will you prevent infection? How will you prevent blindness? Now, let us look at prevention. Okay. So, let us look at prevention now. So, what happens in trachoma? Reinfections are likely to occur. Reinfections, recurrences are likely to occur. So, prophylactic measures are important. So, basically... WHO defines blinding trachoma elimination as TF prevalence, TI prevalence, okay. So, TF prevalence, what is F? Follicular, right. So, 5% in 1 to 9 year old children. TI prevalence is 1 per 1000 in total population. So, what do you think? Which is more prevalent? 1 per 1000 in total population and this TF is 5% in 1 to 9 year children, okay. So, you have understood the prevalence. Now, let us look at what safe strategy is. Safe strategy is important for exam also. So, let us look at safe strategy. So, you have already understood what safe strategy is, right? So, primordial prevention, primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary prevention. So, as a primordial prevention, what are you going to do? So, basically, this was implemented this is an action plan. The safe strategy is for the profile axis against trachoma infection and prevention of blindness. Same thing. Safe strategy. An action plan has been made to implement the WHO endorsed safe strategy effectively. Okay. It is um, also adopted by the Alliance for Global Elimination of Trachoma by 2020. What is GET? GET is adopting this. That is Global Elimination of Trachoma by 2020. We are already in 2020. Global elimination of trachoma uh, by 2020. So, for this, they have adopted the safe strategy. So, people, what are we looking at? 
safe strategy. Okay. So let us look at the steps in this. First of all, let us look at primordial prevention. Primordial prevention is environment change, right? So basically, what and all spreads the inf infection, guys? Flies, fomites, they spread trachoma. So sanitation is going to be very important, right? So basically, that will be the primordial prevention. Sanitation, water latrines, good water supply, right? Washing, uh, hand washing, right? Improve the washing habits. Dumps, how will you uh, use... Uh, the refuse dumps, how should they be built? How should they be managed? Sprays to control flies. Then, animals, how they should be uh, housed and how far you should be away living from animals. All that will come into primordial prevention. Health education also comes in primordial prevention. Now, let us move to primary prevention. Guys, how is it going? We will we'll move to primary prevention now, guys. So, basically... A person has not got the disease, okay, but and he should not get, right? So, that will be primary prevention. So, basically primary prevention, <clears throat> here they are talking about facial hygiene. Frequent face wash, right, with clean water. Avoid using common towel uh, and all these surma rods and all those kajal applicators you should not share, etc. Okay, then let us move on to antibiotic use. So, now the person has got the disease. Now, you have to prevent further pro uh, progress of the disease. So, antibiotic use. So, basically, we already told you the antibiotics, tetracycline, erythromycin, azithromycin, right? All of those you will use. So, we already told you the antibiotics, right? Guys, apart from that, there are some things like um, mass antibiotic therapy, right? And then reassessment of prevalence and annual treatment, etc. There are a lot of uh, criteria here. Finally, let us say, let's talk about tertiary prevention. Here, you want to prevent disability, right? That is, uh, that is one of the things of tertiary prevention. Here, the disability can be what? Blindness, right? So, surgery for trichiasis and surgery for entropion are the tertiary prevention for uh, the, the blindness, the trachomatis corneal blindness. Okay, so what and all are you going to do surgery for? Trichiasis and entropion so that the blindness, corneal blindness will not occur. WHO recommends bilamellar tarsal rotation surgery at community level for affected persons. Okay, what is the surgery? Bilamellar tarsal rotation surgery. Okay. So, basically, surgery is required for what? Trichiasis and entropion. So, hope you didn't forget what trichiasis and entropion are. Trichiasis is ingrowth or introversion of the eyelashes. Entropion is eyelid folds inward. Okay. So, for these two, they are suggesting surgery. So, guys, uh, trachoma prevention, there you will see what? Safe strategy. Remember, some specific words we have seen in trachoma. Let's revise the specific words. So, just listen to this. Safe strategy, get 2020, specific to trachoma, okay. So, treatment, you saw antibiotics, remember uh, tetracycline, erythromycin, tetracycline, erythromycin, azithromycin. This much, these three at least you have to, have to remember, okay. Then, safe strategy, say safe. Safe. Strategy. Strategy. Trachoma. Trachoma. Yeah, thank you so much. That's all for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.